episode on Limitless TV. This series has been all about the Holy Spirit. I'm Ab. I'm Becca and today we're going to be looking at the fruits of the Spirit. So um, a few weeks ago we've been looking at the gifts of the Spirit and the spiritual gifts and this time we want to look at the fruits of the Spirit. Yes. Yeah, I think it'll be really helpful for us to start by reading what they are so that we don't miss any out. Yeah, okay. we stay focused. So it's Galatians 5 from verse 22 to 25 and it says, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control. Against such things there is no law. Those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. Since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. And there's lots of like big words in there, I feel. So first mm. of all, your translation says forbearance. Mine yeah. says patience. Okay, That's just in probably case. Probably better. Yeah. Just in case you're wondering. But also, it says that our um, sinful desires have been crucified, and that's really talking about the fact that when we um, become Christians and we accept Jesus Christ, we expect we accept His Spirit, who we've been talking about this whole time, the Holy Spirit. Mm. And so, rather than us just reacting based on how we feel in terms of our um, our body and our our own desires we're now more concerned with god's desires mm. um and they're really good by the way they are these fruit the fruit of the spirit mm. so it's about our character i think i don't know maybe it's just me i can be really tempted to undervalue the fruit compared to the gifts because yeah. it doesn't seem so supernatural um but then if i think about what i'm like when i'm hungry and patience goes out the window, it's pretty epic. I'm <laughs> able to rein that in. Yes, me and keep too. Like, focusing. Yeah, me too. Yeah, and so actually, the fruit of the spirit is it's about you know our character, and um, you can't underestimate how powerful that is. Um, and as well as that, it's about becoming like Jesus. Yeah. When we read that list of, of the fruit of the spirit, um, it's basically Jesus. Yeah, Jesus true, was yeah. like that, you know, when he was like living on earth and socializing with people jesus was all of those things and so actually to want to grow in the fruits of the spirit is ultimately to want to become more like jesus and if that is the goal for your life then you're not going to go too far wrong to be honest yeah. so if you want more of any of those things essentially what you need is more of the spirit yeah and that is such a powerful part of how we are then able to be light in this world we talk about being christians as being salt and light in the world yeah and being um witnesses of who jesus is and who and of his character by being more like him by having his spirit living in us mm -hmm. um so i think actually when we try to um, do things without the holy spirit when we try to just act in our own nature instead of asking God to, to move through us, that's when we actually become really bad witnesses to, mm -hmm. to who God is. And the world gets really confused about what we mean, about who Jesus is and who God is. I think a lot of the times when I've come up with difficulties with um, trying to explain my faith to people, I've been when people actually have pretty negative examples of what Christians have been like mm -hmm. and how Christians are speaking. Um, and it's normally because they're speaking without love or without gentleness, mm -hmm. without kindness. Um, and that's basically without the fruit of the Spirit. So it's so important that we are constantly, um, Galatians speaks earlier about putting on yeah. um, the Spirit of God and taking off um, our, our old selves. And so allowing ourselves to be transformed by the Spirit so that we can produce this fruit. Yeah, it's good. And it's important to know that as well, the Holy Spirit will never ask you um, to do something that is out of line with the fruit of the Spirit. Actually, it's a really good um, way to, to know whether you're hearing from God, whether it is part of the, the fruit of the Spirit and is the character of Christ. Yeah, if it doesn't seem like it's kind, yeah. if it's not going to be loving, if it's not going to bring joy or peace, then it's probably not God. Yeah. Um, and that's a really good way of checking that. Yeah. So the fruit are just as important as the gifts. Yeah, and, and actually we need to be growing in that. Um, and that should be, you know, that's the ongoing work in our life is to become more like Jesus. And um, 
and that's what we need to be also pursuing as well as desiring the gifts of the spirit it's also desiring to become more like jesus and to i guess see um, ourselves become more patient and kind and joyful and you know not angry when we're hungry um, <laughs> Hungry, not of God. <laughs> so I think one of the ways that like I can beat myself up about being hungry, to be honest, but I can't make myself more patient. I can't make myself a more joyful person, a more peaceful person to be around. Actually, that is a fruit of the Holy Spirit. So I can only seek God. I can only keep asking for the Holy Spirit to be in my life more. And so from that verse that we read at the beginning, um, in Galatians chapter five, verse 25, it says, if we live by the spirit, let us also keep in step with the spirit. So if we're inviting God into our day to day, if we're walking with God, then we are gonna be producing more and more of this fruit. So good. Yeah, so we hope that's been helpful. Um, for you today and there'll be some discussion questions that you can maybe work through with your brief or on your own um, and yeah I'm going to see you next week.